Hey guys, I wanted to show you how I made my Baltic Amber EMF protection necklace that also doubles as a teething necklace. It's made out of Baltic Amber resin beads. It also has Shungite beads that are stones. Shungite stones protect you from EMF radiation, so this can be helpful if you struggle with falling asleep or staying asleep. If you have headaches because of your Wi-Fi in the house, it can also help baby while the baby's teething, of course. Anyway, here's a video. Uh, I hope it helps you and your family live a healthier lifestyle. So to start off, you're gonna need some elastic thread or hemp cord, some Baltic amber resin beads, and some shungite stone beads, some scissors, and the last two are optional. A lighter will help you cut the thread on an angle once you sear the edges off and the clasps are just to connect the necklace. For the amber beads, I got several different sizes and for the shungite bead, I got about four millimeters thick. Now that I've done it, I actually prefer the sizes of the amber beads because it just makes it look unique when you have smaller and bigger beads as opposed to just small shungite beads. So after I seared off the edge and cut it at an angle, I started threading some amber beads and you could really use any pattern that you'd like. I just did two amber beads and I think a shungite bead, bead in the middle. So I just continued threading these beads and slowly they started to take shape and the pattern was much easier to continue afterwards after you see what it looks like. As you can see, the pattern's really starting to take shape and it's starting to come together really well. And right about now is where I choose to put the center shungite stone in and finish the rest of the other side. I give God glory for creating such wonderful and purposeful stones for us to use, specifically for EMF protection on these stones. After I finished the other side of the necklace with the same pattern, I measured that they were in equal length so the necklace would hang evenly and correctly. And I finished it off with a knot to keep the beads in place so I could attach the clasp easily. To finish off the necklace, I thread the clasp and I secure it by tying it with two simple knots at the end. Once I tied the two knots at the end of the necklace to secure the clasp in place, I went ahead and I cut the excess of the thread off. So when you screw on the other clasp, it's really snug and tight and more secure so the necklace doesn't fall off your neck once you're wearing it. You can find these really cute clasps on Etsy. I found them from the same seller that I bought my amber beads. I really like how these clasps turned out. It was really easy to attach them. You can always end up just tying whatever necklace or bracelet you make. This necklace for my son and he really liked it. And that is how I made my own Baltic Amber Teething Necklace that doubles as an EMF protection necklace. And it, I really I really like how nice it looks, but it's really purposeful as well. Stay tuned for more faith-based natural living videos and a little bit of home setting in there. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.